Hi everyone, Coach Steve here with a short video explaining what the build phase of, of your training plan involves and what uh, you should focus on discipline wise and what some do's and don'ts of it. Okay, so build phase of your training plan um, comes logically after our base um, phase of our training plan where we have um, worked on our aerobic fitness and we have worked on our strength and endurance. So now in the build phase, we get more specific on our race day um, skills and speeds to quote joe friel we start to train to race and um, it does follow on the build period does follow on from the base period where we have and then it's just before the taper again using my previous car analogy when we're in the base phase of the plan if we're we're building a car we're putting the wheels the chassis and the engine together in the build phase we're putting in the the gears we're fine-tuning the engine and then we'll taper get ready to race Okay, so what should your focus be discipline wise be in, in the build phase and um, swimming wise, you'll get more race pace efforts in and um, but you won't be dropping the volume. We're just actually we've built up a good sort of hopefully technical stroke from the, a lot of work in the base phase. And now we're adding a bit of speed work in there. There'll be 200, 400, etc. And um, just to kind of push your envelope a little bit further. A bonus element because most of the races will be in the open water and um, lakes, seas, rivers, etc. We'll need to work on start looking at those skills in the pool, drafting, sighting, etc. And then also getting out into the wetsuit, into the water. Biking. Now we're going to let the off the leash a little bit more. And instead of just being just zone two or hill, uh, was it or steady state rides, there's going to be more race based paced efforts. And this should be on your race bike setup. I'll talk about that in a little bit more. Um, also, if you are on doing more of your focusing for a longer um, race, since a 70.3 or an Ironman, you'll need to hone in your nutrition on the bike um, and also your, your biking setup if you're moving from a road bike to a time trial bike. Running, again, there'll be mo a movement to more sort of uh, intense sessions in terms of be more race pace efforts and a bit more speed work. Even if you are doing the longer distance races, you'll see that in the the bricks, there'll be more bricks involved. There'll be more race pace bricks and the long, r slow runs will be replaced by race pace efforts. A bonus element, if you are doing the shorter distance races like a sprint or an Olympic, track sessions are great to get your, your fast twitch muscles the, uh, the firing to get a bit more speed in your legs. And even if you are doing the longer base plan, such as 70.3 or an Ironman, you will actually see that there be longer intervals. So VO2 sessions where you're running at um, 5K or 10K pace for 1K, 2K with the recoveries in between. Again, it's just making sure that you have more than one gear comes come race day. Some build do's and don'ts, okay? As we talked about, we're going to get a bit more practice in the open water. So dust off your wetsuit early and um, make sure you get a good fitting wetsuit. Make sure it still fits if it haven't used it since last season. Um, but you will be getting into the water. Make sure you check out my video on how to safely um, do an open water swim session and hints and tips on that as well. As it is, you're moving from the safety of the pool into the open water. You just need to do it smart. Uh, pro trip here and uh, make sure you make sure you get neck neck guard or body glide to make sure you don't get an end up in a neck suit rash there's also a video there on that how that can help you and um, next do as it, as i said we're going to be using more of the our race by a bike and um, for our interval efforts that's dusting off the tt bike it might have been on the turbo or the smart trainer for the last few months time to let her free. Um, and even if this is, you're putting some aero bars on, clip on aero bars onto your road bike, start getting that set up now and make sure you're comfortable with it. These, the, for the race based efforts, try to find quiet traffic uh, light areas to practice this so you can really zone in in your numbers. Um, next do, make sure you test your equipment top to toe, as I said, and be clever about it for the open water swim sessions after you finish. Practice transitioning out of your wetsuit rather than taking your time. So to go have a competition, who can get out of the wetsuit fastest? The last person out of the wetsuit to buy the coffee. Um, action, uh, other LM pro tip here as well. If you are using race runners such as uh, Vaporflies, 4%, yada, yada, um, start doing your race pace runs in those to make sure they're nice and well broken. Um, 
This is key, really important. Make sure you book in some B races if you haven't done so already. Um, a B race is something that you want, a race that'll be shorter than your uh, A race, and it doesn't really matter, um, but it's a bit of fun. There is a video about how to slot a B race into your training plan in the catalog as well. Um, I'll put that in the comments. The uh, what, what you want to do there is make sure, and why do we do it? Because they're fun. It allows you to practice open water swimming, it might practice transitions, and you know, it gives you a mark of where you are. So definitely, definitely book in B races. Some don'ts for the build phase. Um, don't be afraid to go the hard sessions hard. I know a lot of the stuff in the base has been nice and gentle and it's uh, and you haven't really pushed yourself out of zone too that much. But as long as you're warmed up and you've no injury niggles, go hard at the pace. It's These are the ones we're actually pushing out our lactic threshold. We're actually building a bit of speed and mental toughness into our legs. Um, do note in the build phase there are more pace base sessions in my plans as I, uh, where I sort of go move a little bit away from heart rate or or um, for the running for example and just tell you look run it at 5k pace just zone in on those numbers you've got to learn to teach yourself how to be comfortably uncomfortable doing these sessions um, and also at the same time don't think that every session in build is going to be fast and furious there are still recovery aerobic easy sets in there to maintain the training balance respect them so respect your recovery weeks as well and um, and as i said we will be doing a lot more intensity in the training plan at this stage so don't lose the good habits we should have built up in base the yoga stretching foam rolling warm up it's even more important now that you're going to be putting your body under a little bit more pressure with the higher intensity stuff don't skip the retests. Everyone sort of goes, oh, I don't want to do another FTP test. Oh, I don't want to do another run test. This is the time where you figure out the benefits you've got from the base period. So book it in and actually you'll be pleasantly surprised and you'll see where you've come on. Your zones will have moved out and having those zones correct for this phase of plan is key. Okay, so there you go. As I said, the build is the kind of the the kind of the preamble before you actually get the real fun stuff where you're doing your A race, but make sure you do um, get yourself set up, you enjoy it and all the rest. Um, there are some other videos, as I said, that will get, um, give you more information on open water swimming. I'm gonna put that there. And there's also um, information about how to add in B, set, uh, B races. I'm gonna put that there. Um, I hope this is useful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. I do other stuff on this. And, um, and if you have any questions, you can email me at info at smartendurancesolutions.com. Have a great, have a great bill phase and hopefully a great race season.